Cap Central Q&A time. Lots of questions, let's get them answered. Getting a hat on here, I've got some helmet head, been out riding this morning. But let's start out, now here's what I'm gonna do. I've picked a section of questions that I really wanted to answer, ones that stuck out that have been asked quite a bit. So I'm gonna do those. And I have kind of a potluck group that I'll get as many as I can from, and if we have time, I'll do a quick fire round. That's how the questions are gonna work and the answers. But before I do, let me just tell you guys, I appreciate the comments and everything that everyone does in viewing the channel, but I've noticed quite a few people use some language that causes it to get blocked by the YouTube filters. So just keep that in mind. If you don't see your comments, it's because language is probably blocking them. Okay, let's get started. The most popular question that I get asked and the one that had the most likes, and that's why I chose this to start off, Three people here, GFD and Gaming, Potassium and Larry Banks, all ask a variant of, how do I afford all these bikes and what job do I have? Well, obviously, because this is YouTube and the internet, I won't give out what I do for a living, but I will say I've been blessed. I'm fortunate to have enough free funds to buy pretty much whatever bike that I want. I just happen to enjoy average people bikes. Number two comes from Ford Racer Forever and Caleb Gajne or Gagne, however you say your name, I apologize if I'm, apologize if I'm slaughtering it. But you guys wanted to know, can you review the Dix Aggressor Pro? That bike was on sale for $299 at Dix just about a month ago, and I'm still kicking myself for not getting it then. If it comes back on sale, you'll see it on the channel. Connor Van Campen wants to know, what happened to the Trek Excalibur 8? I liked that bike. Trek Excalibur 8. You mean this Trek Excalibur 8 that I just got back from riding? I even blew out the, blew out the rear tube. Gonna have to get that replaced. It's actually one of my favorite bikes, Connor. Thanks for asking. Dirt Roads What Ifs with Ethan asks, will you do more on the Mirax Finesse? This is the Mirax Finesse, and yes, I will be doing more on the Finesse. I kind of gave it a bad rap the last time I rode it because I put these new tires on it. I had such a great experience the first time and I snapped the chain and the gears are a little soft. But in retrospect, I think it may be okay. I'm gonna give it another go. I'm gonna put a new chain on it, give it another go, and then see if maybe it's worth putting a new fork on and things like that. So the Mirax Finesse is not gone and you will be seeing it again. Bill Johnson asks, do you have a go-to bike you ride most of the time? Yes and yes. I actually have two bikes because I bike commute, so obviously I don't ride my mountain bikes for that. I have plenty of commuter bikes. And on the trail, I ride a trail bike, a uh, mountain bike. So oddly enough, out of all my bikes, it seems that if I'm in a pinch and I have to pick up a bike, I seem to grab the Trek Excalibur 8 most of the time over any of the other bikes, even though I do love my other bikes, like my Kodiak 2, really like that. And as far as commuting, which is what I spend most of my time doing, my Priority Continuum Onyx has become my go-to bike for that. Still enjoy the Redux 3, tear it up around town, but I, I'm really liking the Continuum Onyx. Jack Box asks, I've noticed in the past you've returned a few bikes back to the store and many you, you have kept. What do you do with all the bikes that you receive? Also, are you able to return the bikes back to the store? With your experience, what stores have the best return policies when it comes to bikes? Well, Jack Box, it's actually not cool to return the bikes if there's nothing wrong with them, which I don't do. Any bikes that I have returned have been because there's a defect or something like that. As you can see and look at my video channel, I keep most of the bikes. A few I have sold, and we'll get to that in another question in just a moment, but thanks for asking. Paul Henry asks, have you thought about opening an Amazon store for upgrade parts for the XR Pro, Boundary, and Hypercarbon bikes? I'm really interested in building up a great bike over time, very interested in a reasonably priced front fork upgrade as well. Paul Henry. Okay, Paul. Actually, it's interesting that you asked that because I just became an Amazon influencer and on my website, kevcentral.com, there's a link in the blog to my influencer page. But the only items that you'll really see there are things like the fork for the XR, a couple of items that I've reviewed, things like that. So you only see things on the channel that I actually liked and thought were worth buying. Luis Mayas, I guess is how you say that. Again, I apologize for the names that I slaughter here. Just getting back into biking and commuting to work and got myself a 2018 Trek Marlin 5. Congratulations, good bike. Would you ever consider a video on things you do to keep your bikes running well? Things like maintenance you like to do, upgrades, etc. Thanks. Well, Luis, uh, there are a lot of good videos out there, probably better than what I could make as far as maintenance. But yeah, I'll, in the future, as soon as I get my shop done, 
I'll do a video showing how I keep my bikes working. Thanks for asking. Tomi Saarinen. There's no way that that's probably right, but I'm going to say Tomi. Why don't you get a good bike? Tommy, I think I have some good bikes. They might not be what you prefer, but I have seen you comment quite a bit on the channel, so I know you're watching, and thanks for being involved. I appreciate your input. But you'll see some better bikes coming up. I think stuff you might like, but I enjoy what I have. I don't know if this is Dog, Dog with an E, or just something that I'm not cool enough to understand, but whoever you are, thanks for the question, D-O-G-E. Why do you prefer Trek bikes more than other brand bikes like Specialized Giant Cannondale? Good question. I actually do like Specialized Giant and Cannondale, I just don't have a local dealer. My Trek dealer is the only local bike shop branded bike. And I've had a history of experience with Trek going back to the Trek 4300 back in about 2003. So because of that, I like their bikes, but other stuff's good too. Dethrone Me asks, are there any mountain bike destinations or trails you've been wanting to ride? Great videos and more power. I appreciate that, Dethrone Me, and yes. I did some student coursework in Quebec, and I've been wanting to go back there and ride not only Quebec City, but around some of their mountain bike trails. That'd be my dream destination in the short term. Green Flash One asks, I've seen several recent, within the past year, negative reviews on the Sportsman Gen 1000i generator. Have you continued to have good success with yours? Still running great. I have over 50 hours. Yeah, 50 hours on it. Still run like a top, thanks for asking. Ayush Parmar asks, do you have any bike that you don't like? The Pacific Evolution, I dislike this bike so much, I don't even like to say its name. David Johnson asks, how did you start riding with what, what do you suggest for a beginner? Well, David, the first bike that I started, I'm assuming you mean mountain biking and as an adult, and that was with the Trek 4300 back in 2003, 2004-ish. And even looking back, that was right when 29ers started taking off, and I didn't know it then. But people that I was riding with, including two guys that came from out of town to ride Wildwood, they were making fun of my 4300, but it was non-disc brake, it was 26ers. I outrode those guys. So you can do it if you just have fun with your bike. And what do you suggest for a beginner? You know, anything. You can get a big box bike that will work depending upon your skill level and what you want to do. And they're usually cheap. But I will say, if you can afford it, you're probably better off going to a local bike shop and getting a bike shop brand like Trek, Specialized Giant, something like that, just because you get shop service, proper setup, and generally a good value for your money, but you gotta watch out, some of those bikes are overpriced. I don't know if this is the American, the way we would read it, Dylan Carpenter, Carpentier, or if it's French with Dion Carpentier, I'm not sure, but you ask, if you purchase a Hypercarbon X with some upgrades, could you take it to a bike park like Highland and have a good time? Be careful with that. I'm not sold that the Carbon X is all that safe just yet. Now, I'm doing some upgrades. I'm having a good time with it, but I'm still not convinced that it's necessarily all that safe. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to bet that if you looked at the saddle on my Carbon X, there's probably a ridge right down the middle where I tense up while I'm riding. Novus Hampshire, another regular commenter, appreciate it. Favorite wheel size on mountain biking so far, 27.5. Out of all your bikes, if you had to choose one to keep and get rid of the rest, which bike would you keep? You know, I probably should have thought about this question before I, before I decided to answer it. I'm not really sure which one I would keep. I mean, obviously I like my X-Cal, but I don't know that I would pass up the Kodiak 2. And also, if you get into commuting, I'd have to pick a second bike for that. So right now I'd pick the Continuum Onyx, but I don't know, that Brilliant may, I might like that better. And then there's just when I want fitness, so I'd probably want my Trek FX, but I kind of started growing on that Cadent 1 from Rob. You know, I, I can't, I can't pick one. I would take them all. I would take them all or I would, I guess if the apocalypse happened, I would go with them all, one of the two. Thanks for commenting, Novus Hampshire. Callum Kent Mountain Bike. That's a good name. Do you plan on expanding your fleet of bikes or are you going to sell some of your bikes to make room for newer bikes? Yes, at some point, I'm running out of room. I have bikes all around me that you can't see. My basement's practically full. My upstairs, I'm, it's like an obstacle course. Even my shop that's still currently under construction has four bikes in it already. So yeah, I'll probably at some point be selling some of them just to make rooms for some newer ones. 
And you also ask about a Suntour XC, XCT4 can converting it to an airport. Even if it were possible, I haven't looked that up to see if it's possible, but it would probably be cheaper just to buy an XCT airport or a better one. iHyperPixel writes, can you do reviews on the Kent KZ2600 on paper as amazing specs? So I wanted to see it in a video. I don't know that I would say that bike has amazing specs. For the money, it's probably okay, but eventually I may get a hold of one and take a look at it. Thanks for the question. B bro or bro 21. What is the absolute best big box bike you have ever bought? XR Pro, hands down. Dan DeVries. Hey, you won one of my contests, man. I hope you got your stuff and enjoyed it. If you could change a trend in mountain biking, what would it be? Or what is the worst trend in mountain biking in your opinion? Probably that everyone's looking down on 26, 26 inch bikes. I still have fun on them. Geeky Channel asks, why do high-end bikes usually lack graphic designs and sharper color schemes that the, of their lower-end counterparts? It seems odd that my 2016 Stump Jumper from Specialized looks cheaper, in my opinion, than a lower-end box store bike. I have no idea. The only thing that I can figure is they have to put, like the Mirax Finesse, put a lot of stickers on the bikes to cover up things like those flat face Shimano derailleurs and twist shifters that they tend to put on some of the lower-end bikes. That'd be my guess. Yoshi Dude 52 what is your favorite bike company and why? I would say I probably have two, two favorite bike companies. Commuter Bike would be Priority. I think they've a really good lineup. I like the Belt Drives. As far as mountain bikes go, I'd have to say Trek. Uh, just overall, you get a really good product for a decent value. Moto Mayhem asks, what is it about bikes in general that you enjoy the most? Probably the fitness, slash fun. They go together well and you get a workout and it's fun. Can't be beat. Riley Sosha asks, what do you think of the Raleigh Talus 3? A little bitter, probably not a bad bike. I've never ridden it, but uh, Raleigh's really kind of toasted their mountain bike lineup. I'm not happy with the direction that they're going with it. So I don't really have an opinion on the Talus 3, but I'm not happy with the current lineup from Raleigh. FG says, really appreciate your videos, man. Just want to let you know, I put my Hyper Hydroform together and it's phenomenal. Come out to Colorado and you can take it for a spin. FG, I appreciate that. Congratulations on the Hydroform and also use Kramer for your YouTube icon. That's awesome. Marion EQ and Edwin Arib both asked a variation on, are you going to do a bike giveaway? I don't know, at some point maybe, but I, that's going to be something to be hard to orchestrate, so I'll have to see. Ken X asks, I know you hate road bikes, but I'm not gonna say that word. We need more cheap road bikes to review. Ken X, nobody needs a cheap road bike, man. Get a mountain bike like the rest of us. Now, thanks for asking, but you're probably not gonna see me on any road bikes. Just don't enjoy them. Alex, the real fanning redneck trademark. Will you ever collaborate with Seth's Bike Hacks, Skills with Phil, or other big bike YouTubers? You know, you never know what the future is gonna hold, so. Who knows on that, but I would say I would doubt it simply because they're so much more advanced than the rest of us. They would probably hold them back by collaborating. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see, but thanks for asking. James Factora asks, what is your best purchase so far and what bike are you looking forward to? Best purchase so far would most likely be value per what I received, which is the Kodiak 2. Uh, $1,400 bike, I paid $890. The bike that I'm looking the most forward to is in that box right there, and that's the Brilliant. But I'm always looking forward to the next bike. Right now, it's the Brilliant. Buff Barnaby asks, is a single sprocket adequate for someone who primarily rides on the beach and go fast at times? Didn't know you could go fast on the beach. Uh, like the Raleigh Redux 3. So you're talking about a one by. I like one bys. If I had it, I'd have a one by 12 on everything that I own if I thought it was worth it on every bike. But, you know, that teach their own, but if you get a quality one by, you can get a really good bike that'll go fast and would work on the beach. Shay Stokes asks, is your father okay now? I remember the video where you explained about it. How's he doing? Very nice of you to ask. Let's ask him. I'm feeling much better. Thank you for asking, Shay Stokes. Appreciate it when anybody checks up on me. Okay, this is rapid fire. I'm going to read the question, see if I can knock out the rest of these really fast. Where are all the Huffy bikes? Still have the Cranbrook working on that. Either sold or took back the others because they were defective. Will you ever get a high-end bike like those that cost up to 5K eventually? Yeah, probably. Will you ever review better bikes on your channel as it gets bigger? Yes. 
Are you sponsored by anyone? Raleigh, Trek, etc.? No, I pay for everything that I have reviewed thus far. Would you recommend a Trek DS1 or a Trek DS2? I don't recommend bikes. I give my opinion, and my opinion is that I would pick the DS2 if I were picking between the two. Will you keep reviewing cheap store bikes? Well, absolutely. Thanks for asking. Favorite big box brand? I think kind of covered that earlier, but I do like Trek. Oh, big box. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to go with Schwinn. Or, no, Mongoose. I would say Mongoose. Mongoose, if I had to be pressed on that. What is your dream bike? Something made of solid gold so I can melt it down and afford all the other bikes. Do you recommend big box store bikes? Again, I don't recommend anything. I just enjoy certain things, and I think you can get value out of a big box bike if you get the right one, if you take care of it and it's set up properly. Got any tips for riding on the road? Lots of lights. Stay visible. Some good bond trigger headlights and tail lights. What tricks can you do on the trails? Mostly stay upright. What is your opinion on the giant ATX series of bikes? A lot of people ask about these. I think they're probably okay bikes. I'd like to get a hold of some in the future. And I did have three people that asked about the XR Pro, but that video has since posted. And there'll be more to come on the XR Pro. So you guys, thanks for your question. What is the price range of bikes you will review in the future? You know, anything from the cheapest bike to something really expensive because I've got some plans for some more expensive stuff, but I will always do the cheaper bikes as well. Waffles or pancakes? Pancakes, definitely. What camera gear do you use? Good question. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to have to do this part kind of quick. There's a beef line around in here, and he's not happy because I missed him with the electric racket. But primarily, I use a GoPro Hero 6 Black on a chest rig. I also use a couple of GoPro Hero Sessions, different various mounts, like this one that I clip onto my backpack when I'm bike commuting. I also have purchased, but I haven't used it. I've had this thing for eight months and haven't used it. Say Samsung 360 Gear 360 camera. I even built a helmet mount with it that it probably looks stupid. But I'm gonna see if I can integrate that. And I also have a drone I'm gonna to try to integrate into some future videos. But that's it for the comments on the questions and answer session. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate everyone for being part of the channel. If I didn't get to your comments, I'll try to answer them in the comments section. And hopefully I can pick you up next time. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.